Yeah. So I guess I'll take this up as my main quest. Let me stick that on. With my baby. Send. No wait. Send someone in front of the dinky dinosaur. Dinky dinosaur put on the beret to signal Boon that this is the culprit. Why is it saying this one is complete and blanked out? Look for evidence of the guilty party inside the dino delight lobby, but I haven't done that yet. Well, whatever. We'll take that up as our main quest. I'm going to head to my house, which actually I can't remember where it is. Wow, why is it so dark? I apologise if the video is uh, really dark and I just burped the next one there. I don't know where my room is. I always forget. Is it this one? <sighs> Indeed it is. So, um... Yep. I'm going to sleep this one out, but I'm going to end this one here, guys. Uh, I've been Sneaky Mode, and thank you for watching. Okay, guys, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. I have no idea what part we're on, but whatever. When we left off, we spoke to Boone. He wanted us to find out more information about, or try and find evidence of who killed his wife. And I just went to sleep so it become daytime. So now I'm going to have to look, have a look around. Uh, who's Cliff Brasco? Or Brisco? Need to find some evidence of who may have killed his wife or sold her out to be killed. I guess there's nothing going on in here. Okay, let, let me go and um, talk to some people in the town. Uh, I guess I'll speak to the the lady that owns this place. Maybe a start. Hello. I hope you're yep. fine. Can you tell me about Boone's wife? How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower, real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting close to her. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Um, what's wrong with Boone? Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. Okay. I guess she doesn't have much to add, so let, let us go and speak to a few others. I know there are some houses down here, so that must mean there's people here, so I think is <laughs> probably going to be a waste of time, but we could speak to Nobark. Actually, you know what? Nobark, although he's speaking crazy talk, he may actually have some very indirect information about what happened. So that could be interesting to find out. I, again, I don't think she's going to have much to do with it. What can I do for you? Uh, yep, nothing. She's just a, just a utility character. Nothing else. <sighs> there you are, you crazy old coot. You've seen them too, haven't you? Nope. Uh, do you, what do you know about the abduction of Boone's wife? Seen it all seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night. Thought one might have gone in the lobby too for a spell. Could be that person went in to get something. Or used the John, maybe. Mighty interesting either way, you asked me. <laughs> I thought it was cannibals, come to eat us all for sure. So I kept out of sight. But now I know better. Um, who was it? More rat men. Come up from the underneath to steal young women with promises of riches and fancy mud mansions with all the latest designer appliances. They covered our lady folks' long hair for wigs, it said, being either bald or balding themselves. Okay, anything interesting happening in the area? Folks will tell you that they seen ghouls up near the rocket factory. Sensationalist hooey. Cooked up by superstitious yokels, seeing phantoms of their own imagining. Okay. What do you think is actually at the factory? Ghosts. Kami ghosts, who don't know they're dead. Hoping to steal our rockets, so they can fly up and paint the moon pink and draw a Lenin face on it. 
I've seen one of them disappear and reappear before my very eyes. Although, being a scientist, I have to admit I might have just blinked for longer than usual, what with the shock of seeing a comic ghost and so forth. Okay. Okay, no bark is um interesting to say the least. This is probably going to be a mostly talking episode. Oh, what's this? In terms of, you know, asking everyone what they know, if they know anything. Prim wimped out and accepted NCR rule. Some people will There's nothing here, nope. Safe. I don't think so. So let's check this house out. I don't know if this one's actually even open or has anyone in it or not. Maybe it's worth checking out though. Prim has a new sheriff. That should keep the power hey gangers away. How many people are going to, are talking about Prim? Hey look! Sunspec Sunset Sasperla Star. Bottle cap. Let's take all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. It's like some crazy ass crack den, it's disgusting. <laughs> Anyway, it's blocked off. So I guess all the, the main houses are over here. Why am I carrying my gun? I could be moving so much faster. Manny, what's going on, man? Did you have anything? No, wait. Who would want to hurt Boone's wife? Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. She wanted to sit in a room all day and make herself miserable, and she went out of her way to be rude. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. Uh, did you have anything to do with Boone's wife disappearance? Believe me, when I heard the news, my first thought was, I owe somebody big. I figured Boone would come around after a while. But he hasn't. I'm starting to think that if he doesn't find her, things will never go back to the way they were. Okay. Goodbye. So let's go and talk to someone else then. I see friendlies over here. So let's check out this. Jeannie Mae Crawford's house. Wait, is this... Jeannie Mae's the woman that owns the place, isn't she? I'm pretty sure she is. Whoa, Eddie, what are you doing there? I wonder if she has anything interesting. Like some dildo or whatever, that's disgusting. Lockpick of 50? How, why, how do I not have a lockpick of 50? Uh, whatever. Let's get out of here, clearly. What was that in the wall? I thought that was like a, the, the um, battle of a rifle or something. That would have been kind of cool to find some random rifle on the wall. So, McBride House, let's check this out. What brings you here? Uh, what can you tell me about Boone's wife? Boom. That's that sniper fella. Works in the dinosaur, right? I only met them but once or twice. They seemed real happy together. I really ought to get to know them better. They're probably nice folk. Um. Okay. Nice of you to visit. Let's talk to this guy. Hey there. You're from out of town, ain't you? Name's Dusty. <laughs> what can you tell me about Boone's wife? Well, to be honest with you, I don't really know them two as well as I might. I remember she had an edge about her, like she'd rather be someplace else. This kind of life ain't for everyone, that's for darn sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, goodbye. Okay, I have no idea. Let me check, actually, if I... Did I even have that quest selected? Yes. Let me check the map. Or the local map, actually. Daylight from desk. Oh, we can talk to the uh, guy. Oops. We can talk to the uh, guy who Howdy. who runs the shop. And I didn't think about that. So let's uh, go and do that. Don't know why I said that like that. But I was like breathing out. I want to double check in here though. That, that woman was awfully suspicious. Uh, let me check something out here. Hmm, bill of sale. We, the representatives of the consul... Wait, hold on. 
Nighttime sniper. Manny Vargas. Wait, what? And these are the. I'm just checking because I, I remember picking up a note somewhere. And I think it was the bill of sale. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, Jeannie May. Uh, have this day bargained and purchased from Jeannie May Crawford of the Township of Novak. Exclusive rights to the ownership and sale of the slave Carla Boone. Unborn child. Warrant the slave young. Healthy slave for life. Jeannie May Crawford that we have full power to bargain and sell the slave for offspring. Payment of an additional 500 bottle caps will be due. Sir M. Scribonius Libo Drusus et al. So it was you? You. Oh my god. Crazy old woman. I hope you're finding everything to your liking. Hmm. So does that mean. Does that mean it was her? Or. What? I guess we are going to. Ask what? Victor? Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. What are you doing in Novak? I don't rightly know. I just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. But you're a robot, so how can you think that? Uh. This is too big to be a coincidence, robot. What's your angle? Now nah, don't go getting all paranoid, partner. That bullet in your brain bin probably just bucked your Brahmin a little. We're all friends here. Nah, I don't seem so sure. You said the men that jumped me were heading this way, right? No, don't believe I did. But you might ask around. The Novak folk usually see anyone traveling this way. Ah, uh, goodbye. It seems like there's nothing to say right now. <laughs> um, I'll talk to the shop owner. I don't think there's anyone really left to speak to of a major interest, at least relevant to the story. Then we'll wait around till night. Welcome back. Can I get you? In? Nope. Can you tell me about Boone's wife? Can't say we spoke much. Boone did most of the buying for him. She was in the store once, but she didn't stay long. Had a look on her face like she'd smelled something sour. But far as I can remember, the gift shop smelled fine. Well, fine as it always does. Uh... Okay. Come Goodbye. Back soon now. So... Who else do we have left to speak to? Cliff Brasco is the guy who... <coughs> wow. <coughs> Let's see if he has anything to say. You'll get the hang of that takedown. I had trouble learning it at first, too. I forgot about that thing. What can you tell me about Boone's wife? Carla was a knockout. Whenever Boone walked around with her, he always had this funny grin on his face like he couldn't believe his luck. I know we couldn't. That wasn't the only reason she stuck out, though. That girl never minced words. If she'd had better food or hospitality, she'd let you hear it. Trouble was, she usually had. I don't think she meant it. She really was a sweet girl. I think she just wanted to remind herself that there's still nicer places in this world than Novak. Who could blame her for that? Indeed. Okay, I guess it's Jeannie Mae then. Pretty much convinced at this point that it's Jeannie Mae, so we best wait until midnight. So we need to wait a whole... 14 hours, don't we? Dang, it's going to take a few seconds. Because uh, I think uh, Boone comes up at, at midnight. At least, uh, I'm not really sure. That, that's when it worked before, so I figured I'd go for the same again. <laughs> Just in the off chance. Sorry, blah, 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 blah. No need to explain, really. Look at the moon. What? Oh, it's Manny. Which means Boone is definitely up there. Oh, booty! You shouldn't be here. If people, and if whoever did this smells a rat, they'll have Okay. So I guess there is no dialogue. Oops. No! Damn it, Eddie. Okay. 
So I guess we just need to speak to um, Genie. Get her out in front of the dinosaur. It's really, really dark. I'm going to turn up the brightness just a tad. Display brightness. Not a whole lot because I don't want it to look completely ugly. I also want to quickly change something here. Uh, quick save. I'm going to make that Q. Just seems much easier to access. Continue. And I don't really use. There we go. I don't really use the auto walk feature, so whatever. Where am I going again? Turn this thing on. So I guess because it's night time, we may be able to lead her out. I hope you're yeah. finding every uh, come with me, there's something you should see in front of the dinosaur. Okay, if that's what you think. <laughs> it is what I think, lady. Just follow me. <laughs> Where is she? Is she like... What in the... Oh, did she go? Is she already? Oh, there she is. Yep. You're gonna be dead, woman. You're gonna be dead. So I guess we're. Is there like a, actually a marker where I should go, or? I guess. Guess not. <laughs> Whatever. I'll. I'll just stand right in front of the thing. Over here, I guess. Oh, Genie! Eddie, you want to get hit by a sniper if I don't move? I hope you're. Uh, okay. So I guess I um, just put the hat on. Uh, apparel, apparel. Oh, snap! <laughs> Oh my god. Um, she, she has nothing on. Let me take off Boone's hat and I don't want to keep my trooper helmet on. Boone, what a shot, Boone. What a shot. Let's quickly get in there and find out what the hell's going on. Find out what his. He also said he would uh, repay me or make it worth my time. I don't know if that means via sexual favours or. You know, just helping me out a bit. But let's find out. I'd prefer the former. That's it then. How did you know? <sighs> Look at the baldy head. He looks kind of like uh, Hunter S. Thompson. I found the bill of sale. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. Uh, I know. I just want to check what he gave me there. I missed that. First recon beret. Perception plus one, critical chance plus five. I'm gonna put that on. That critical chance plus five is is quite good. So let's let's see yeah. if we can get him to help us out. Uh, are you an outlaw now? No. Oops. I honestly didn't mean to click off that there. Uh, what will you do after this? I don't know. I won't be staying. I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. Uh, come with me then. Let's go after the legion. Actually, what? Uh. You don't want to do that. Yeah, that might be true. That's reason enough for me to take you up on it, I suppose. But this isn't gonna end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. Uh, see, this is the thing. Whoa. <laughs> this is the thing. Now that Boone is with us, he always attacks Legion um, members, which is going to affect my... Uh, it's going to affect my neutrality just now. So I'm not sure I should take him with me. I may actually... we can Obviously, we can pick him up again. So I may actually tell him to wait... Or, or like at least stop following me for some some time. Um, we'll find out. You let me know in the comments if uh, I should take him or if I should leave him just to to withhold the integrity of my plan. Otherwise, guys, thank you for watching. My name is Sneaky Mode, and uh, don't subscribe.